Here I have two Myford uh, motors. One one-phase half-horse and another three-phase half-horse motor for Super 7 and an ML7. Could be vice versa also. Both are resilient mounted uh, so that they are less noisy, at least uh, thought so, than others. And uh, both came uh, originally with um, plain bearing with um, material inside here that's called permabic so that when you charge it with oil it runs down into something that can hold the oil there uh, i had um, this was let's say uh, overdue for for um, for refreshment so or replacement so i, I took it out and re replaced it with felt like you're making felt uh, washers like this and, and um, stuffing as much as possible inside um, I saw that this used some oil so therefore on the one motor I opted to replace it with um, with a standard ball bearing 6203 bearing that was uh, not not the worst job really so I, I guess I will do that on the, this one too but anyway just for the fun of it i'll see um what noise levels we have here and um, of course this now being uh, let's say maintenance free uh, not to worry about oiling while well, this needs some oil so this is more, maybe a more simpler solution modern solution so i'll try to just show you to run it also first i'll put on this uh, this um a one face motor, and then you can hear. Of course, this resilient mounted uh, or mounting or this crib here makes it uh, less noisy than others. Uh, and um, the way that this is done is with a let's say a washer here, a rubber washer. This also needs replacement, so I ordered some of these because on this one, for instance, on the other side, I've just used some other replacement material and cut off what was well damaged so this also needs replacement so switching on the motor here you hear it's uh, quite uh, silent just oil it a little bit And uh, you can hear the, the switch also. While the, this is of course on 50 hertz directly. It was a 1425 motor, and this is also the same. A little bit more noisy, but not much. Of course, uh, this one I can also run up to 100 hertz. But running in them at the same here, and I'll attempt to. To measure the noise, I would say that they are both quite um, uh, silent, silent mounted motors, mainly because of this mounting here and the, of course, induction motor, and they are running nicely both. So um, I'm not sure, but I think this is a little bit more resistance with the plain bearing here, and this one. So I think this uh, this fix here, since it's so easy. I'll do that on that one too. But you can then use either felt or buy the permavic. That is the material that is inside the, the cavity here. And, uh, and then oil this. So to saturate that with oil. And this is the, the way that this, uh, this is working. Well, it's of course trouble and maintain maintenance free with the, with the couple of ball bearings. So repacking uh, the motor here, the bearings, they are 
plain bearings, but um, oil entry to a yeah, I think this is kind of a felt or was but uh, needs to be repacked so I'll take this out and then we'll repack it with felt there's an oil hole in the mid to the middle here I'm not entirely convinced it'll work but try to fill up these voids with wool felt I think it's called at least um, these donuts go in there I have some other ones also to fill up there so hopefully that will keep the oil in I have no clue if this is a correct method, but I'm trying to charge them to felt with the oil. Yeah, <coughs> I guess we can call it a success. At least it runs. So maybe a capitulation, despite the efforts I made uh, and it works well, uh, the oil consumption a bit too high I think, so I decided to replace uh, the plane bearings with ball bearings, 6203, 17mm shaft, so um, that's what I'm trying to explain here. Och den går, uh, synes jeg er like så stille. 100 hertz. This is another example of the same design. Uh, this is a one-phase motor, evidenced by the Switch you can see here. I'll clean it up now, and this this example looks better uh, with the, all the felt integral in here. I'll just clean it up. I'm also waiting for replacements here. Uh, this one will function, of course. It looks kind of okay, although used. Put here, that is what isolates the, or is part of the, an integral part of the, the mounting system here. So that uh, isolates the motor from the the mounting so to speak and um, here on this one I'll have to do a complete replacement so I'm waiting for those to arrive both and uh, order and both from the US that's the only place I've seen them
So just for the fun of it, I put up a sound level meter here to measure the noise uh, and uh, both level and signature from these two motors, namely the one-phase uh, motor over here and the three-phase motor over here. The three-phase also I will compare uh, running it uh, through a VFD and directly on three-phase. So first the one-phase. And I've uh, measured the sound level, uh, as you can see. Uh this is the display of a state-of-the-art sound level meter. The above portion shows the level versus time graph, while the lower portion shows the level versus frequency graph. And in the upper portion, the blue line uh, shows the LAEQ, which is the average sound level. This is measured after 10 seconds. So this is uh, what we have for the one-phase motor. Um, 10 second measurements and we are uh, really uh, measuring LAEQ which is the um, A weighted uh, sound level over these 10, 10 seconds averaged which is uh, the same as the air would hear. So comparing this to the th three phase motor you can hear and see also that this has a on the sound level uh, a significantly higher uh, signature 10 dB plus in comparison and this is the three phase motor run on the VFD and from this we can see from the above portion uh, that uh, the LAQ the general sound level is about 10 dB higher but we also see from the lower portion of the display, the frequency graph, that uh, there is a significantly different signature. Plus uh, a different frequency characteristics. While this was, of course, dominant by the 50 Hz and then second harmonic 100 Hz, this has a, in this case, maybe because of the VFD, but at least a different signature. Albeit both are very low in noise level. And then now run directly from three phase. You see the same signature really. So that had no significance. To me it looks like, uh, the, or sounds like the, the difference here lies uh, between the three phase and the one phase not between the ball bearing and the and the plane bearing but i will try that anyhow let me switch this one phase also over to a ball bearing to see if if the noise uh, is um, higher just because of that i'm also running a temperature comparison between the one phase and the three phase i started this a bit earlier so this is already warm it's still cold and warm means it's kind of 35 degrees centigrade on the rear shell here, recap. Uh, that is the warmest position. I charged it with oil before I started and have not replenished any oil. And of course it runs um, uh, without any resistance, just on its own. So. It's uh, kind of a light test, but anyway. And we are now closing into 20 minutes also run. The motor on the ML7 sounded okay when There was no load, but if I had some side load to it, and then uh, tighten the belt. So I think I have to change the bearings. I 
with felt from the factory like this so uh, the same deal really felt like this and then the bearing inside there the must be pressed out So finally there, and then I'm going to relieve that center also and fit the ball bearing, standard maintenance free ball bearing. So now I have replaced the bearings here from plane to ball bearings. Um, these ones, 6202. I had to turn it down a wee bit just to fit those 16 point something. A little bit of experimental turning with the shaft, which is 16.09 or 16.1 millimeter, uh, 0.635 in. This is the top speed. I also tried the VFD and the three phase motor and the up the RPM to at least 1500 just to see if the bearings uh, got hot, but uh, they didn't, so... It runs a little bit more noisy, but uh, cool, and um, also I'm trying to find the correct setting on the drip feed oiler too. Okie doke, one down.